In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom cards for the total WordPress theme using the WP Bakery page builder. So first you want to go to theme panel and click on custom cards. Now you can click add new card. So when you go to create a card, the first thing you want to do is obviously give it a title. We'll call it simple card. And then you want to look over here on the side and you'll see basic card settings. So this is what you want to edit first. The front end editor width, that's just the width of um, the site when you're editing the card via the front end editor here using WP Bakery or using Elementor. So by default, sites are very wide. So you might want to slim that down. We recommend 400 pixels. This is when you're editing in the front editor, it just looks better. Then the second setting, extra class name, that's just if you want to give your custom card a class name that you can target with CSS. So most of you will probably leave that empty. And then link type is really important. So by default, cards will link the entire card to the post. But if you don't want that, so for example, if your card has custom links or you want to link to categories or the author, or maybe you just want to have the link added to a read more button, then you want to make sure to change this. So you might want to change that to none. If you choose none, then the card won't link anywhere. And then you can add elements that will link to your post. So for this example, I'm going to choose none. And then let's go ahead and publish. Once it's published, we can work in the front end editor. So click front end editor. And we're going to start by adding an image. And we'll want our image to go to um, display our featured image or post thumbnail. So go to source and click featured image and save. You can change other things. Um, so for example, you can change the styling and the size. We'll just display the full image size. And then for link, if you want, you can have it go to the current post. So I want my image to link to the post. So we'll click that. Now we can add a page title. Um, make sure to change the HTML tag because the default's an H1 and you do not want your entries to have H1 tags. So let's say H2 or H3. I'm going to use H3 in this case. And then you can choose to link it to the post, but I'm not going to do it for this example. Now let's add the excerpt. Um, we'll just leave the settings default. We're not really going to mess with anything too much. We'll just leave the basic theme design for everything. Now let's add a read more button. So we insert the theme button element. Let's change the text, read more. And then for the link, we're going to have that also go to the current post. And that's pretty much it. Now let's add some spacing elements between everything. You can actually, um, you can add spacing on each individual item by changing um, the bottom margin settings, this one right here. So you can add spacing that way. I prefer to add spacing elements, just especially if you're working in the backend editor, it's just easier to see. All right, so there's our basic card. Now, when working with WP Bakery, I highly recommend editing the row and scrolling down to, where is it? This one, the inner column gap, and send that to zero. This is because WP Bakery adds a bottom margin to all your columns, as well as it adds a negative left and right margin to your rows, which is used for column spacing. So by setting to zero, it just makes sure there's no spacing around your card or below it. So I like doing that. Now, if you want your cards to all be the same height, I would also recommend enabling the equal height option. That way, all your cards will be, look consistent. So they'll all be the same height. And if you use this equal height option, uh, a little trick is if you want the last item in your cards, for, for example, the read more button to always be at the bottom, what you can do is you can edit it and you can give it the class name WPX MT Auto. So what that does is it gives it a top margin of auto. And because the cards will display using flex styles, this will push the button to the bottom of each card. All 
All right, now let's just go ahead and give our row just a, like a border and a background. So go over to design options. Let's click simplify. Let's go to padding. Let's give it a light gray border. All right, so there it is. There's our basic card. So now let's exit. And let's try inserting our card. So we're gonna to go to this is just the home page. Let's click edit with the page builder. And we're gonna insert the post cards element. Now, when you go to select a card style, when you scroll to the bottom, you'll see your custom card here. So I'm gonna select it, and there you can see the custom card we created. Okay, well, it looks like our buttons are not bottom aligning. I think I forgot to save the edits I made to the button. So let's go back to the button. I'm just gonna in the back end editor. Let's go back here. Yeah, I didn't save my class name. So again, it's WPX MT Auto. So that means margin top auto. So we can save that. And if we refresh the, the element, we can just refresh it by changing any setting. So let's just do that. So now you can see all the buttons are bottom aligned. So that's great. So one of the cool things about the post cards element is that you can display a featured card at the top. So I'll just go ahead and enable it just to show you. So you can see I got a big card at the top now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna design a featured card now. So let's go back to our custom cards. Click add new. Let's do featured card. Now for the editor width, I'm gonna leave it alone because our featured card is at the top. So it's going to be the same width as the site. And so I'll go back. I like working the front end editor. So let's go ahead and let's add a row. And so for our featured card, what I wanna do is design a card that actually has a background image and has text on top of it. So I'm gonna edit my row. Again, I'm gonna select, um, where is it? Inner column gap zero. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to give it a minimum height because I'm adding a background image. If there's no content or little content, we want to make sure that the, the card is always at least a, a fixed height. So I'm just going to add 450 pixels. You can add more advanced settings though here. So for example, you could use the CSS clamp function. So we could say if we want a minimum height of 400 pixels, um, our ideal height, let's say is six V max, and we wanna have a max of 450 pixels. You can, so you can do that as well. So let's, so that's pretty big. Let's just go ahead and use something simple. Let's just use the 450, okay? Um, okay, so let's go ahead and add a, a, the background for our featured card. So I'm just gonna give it a dark background to start. So there you can see our card now. And then I'm gonna select this option to use the featured image as the background. And we'll wanna select cover for our background style. This way the background image will always take up the whole space and it'll be responsive. Now you can see that the, the card is, even though it's 450 pixels, you can see the content wants to be added at the top. So we'll go back to the general tab and select content position middle. Actually, let's select bottom, that'll be better. And then let's go ahead and give it some, just a little padding to make sure that whatever content we add inside is not touching the edge. And then we're gonna insert the page title and we're gonna select H2 for the featured card. And let's make the font color white. And let's make the font size a little bigger. So I can select 2X down here. All right, let's select 4X. 2X is the default. Let's make it a little bigger. And of course you can enter a custom size here as well. And you can also use advanced functions like clamp. And let's just give it a little bit more padding. Nope, that's too much. Actually, let's go back to the row and just adjust the row padding. Okay. 
There we go. So this is just a very basic feature card and it's going to show the featured image and then the title right here. So I'm going to go back and edit the page and let's, let's select that new card style here, featured card. There. So you can see the featured image, the title, and then, oops, I selected it for all, all of them. Sorry, we just want to change the featured card. Right there. So you can see our other card down here. And the text is a bit hard to read. So let's go back and edit this. And what we're doing is we're going to add an overlay. Let's use dark. And the default is a 65% opacity. Let's just do 45%. So it's a bit lighter. I'm going to update that. Then I'm just going to change any setting inside the card so it refreshes. There. So now you got a featured card and then you got a simple card below. And that's pretty much how easy it is to build cards with WP Bakery. If you have any uh, questions or issues, just let me know on Theforest.